Oh, hold up, let me just flex. Let me flex real quick. Let me flex right here, right now. Let me flex in the camera right now, son. Yo, did y'all see me? Did y'all see your boy in this chapter? Phone Levi. This chapter was Phone Levi. This is all me. This is Phone Levi madness, dog. You thought a hurt ankle will put me out of business? No. Came out, just gun blazing, okay? I was slicing and dicing. You thought I was top contender and top chef. You thought I was on the food channel. As much slicing, dicing I was doing to people in the shadow, you thought I was top chef contender. But not only was I slicing, dicing, no, I was also using my 3D maneuver gear, hooking people up. Straight up lockdown, okay? In the throat's chest, I don't care, okay? I was using everything I had in my arsenal, okay? Levi is the fucking truth. If you haven't realized, phone Levi is a fucking beast, okay? That character's me, okay? I'm a beast. Levi's a beast. We're both beasts, okay? That character is me, okay? Phone Levi. Isan Yama made that character based off me. Anyways, Attack on Titan, a.k.a. Shingeki no Kyojin, chapter 58. This chapter was bananas. Okay, and so towards the end, I was more shot than Aaron. Like, what, 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 we heard about this and that, and you, what, you, what, what, what the fuck, sorry. What? <laughs> but anyways, we got Connie, or Kenny, in different translations, and he has Kenny or Connie. But this dude is a fucking beast. He does not stop. He's like the fucking Terminator, bro. He keeps on coming. He loves blood. He loves killing people, okay, and the squad got... Batman gadgets, they got guns, and you know, Levi got blazing his three maneuver gears. So he got improvised, he's doing he's using tactics, quickness, and he's trying to like get, you know, get away from these guys and find his team, uh Mikasa, Sasha, and Armin. That's his team. And he's like, you know, I, I was just trapped. I can't believe he saw right through me and, and saw through my plans so quickly. Uh, it, it's it's crazy. And we come to find like Kenny, he's like he taught Levi like survival attack. Tactics and all different type of things, how to survive, you know, and you know he's like trying to dodge his guys. He's got a shooting, and you know he's like Levi trying to dodge and dodge the bullets. He gets nicked. He's bloody. He's getting. He's bleeding from like from this. I think from the side. And you think a little blood? You think a little blood can stop the beast? Okay, hell no. I'm gonna fucking do what I gotta do. Okay, I, I gotta do what I gotta do. So he goes in the bar. You know, it takes five, and you know, Kenny's like, you know, he's talking hella shit, and you know, and Levi's like, yo, of all, of all, of all the places, me have to join the military police, as much people you have killed from the military police, you want to join them? I'm like, man, I mean, at the end of the day, military police want this dude to kill people, slice throats, blood, he likes to do those things, it's a plus plus for both sides, and you know, he finds a gun, shoots uh, Kenny, he fucking fires out the bar, okay, he's fucked up. His squad thought he was dead, okay, or he's like, oh, shit, Kenny's dead, oh, my God, he's fucking shot, oh, my God. So, Levi gets the fuck out. This dude came out flexing on me. He thought he had me. Okay, but guess what? I dodged, used my three maneuver gears, nicked him in the neck, just right there, just hooked. Uh, use the same dude, because his boys was like, you know what? We get, he's too far away, Levi. Let him come close, and we can fire our fucking guns. So, he used the same dude. As a cup, as a shield, and they're shooting a dead body, and he fucking like throws away. He got close enough and sliced them, just straight up cut them up. They're dead. Levi being a beast. Also, Mikasa and the whole other, other team, they're like, you know, there's gun, there's gunshots. Like, oh, they have we been found out? They're gonna keep on doing their mission, you know, uh, follow uh, Aaron and his story, even though. Come to find that they're just bait to lure the sur uh, recon corpse in and do de de uh, de defeat them and destroy them. But they don't know that. And you know, Levi is coming in hot. I mean, he's taking out what more than 10 people out. I mean, he's like, like he's like, yo, there's 10 more people. They keep coming out of Levi. Levi doing his thing, dodging, slicing, using three maneuver gears, nick him in the neck. He's, he's, like, he's going crazy. Like he's going ham. Okay, he got blood on his fucking eye. He can barely see, bro. He's doing his damn thing. Okay, Gene. Let me just expose, you know what, Gene? You know what, this chapter, you got me pissed off, okay? You got me pissed off. Do not revert back to your old self from the beginning of the series, okay? Acting like an asshole, being a bitch, okay? Like, yo, yo you you came a long way. Don't go back, man. It's a life and death situation, okay? Oh, why are we fighting humans? Oh, my God. And we were supposed to be t protecting humans? Like, bro, life and death. These dudes are trying to kill you. They're putting the gun in your face. They're about to pull the trigger, 
Okay, why are you shaking? I mean, Mikasa, know what she has to do? Leave at all, like, yo, stop following the, the carriage, let's regroup, and then uh, let's get away and escape from this chaos. Okay, these people, then we come on, we come on a plan. And Levi, like, Levi told Mikasa, like, yo, protect the group, okay? If you have to kill, kill. And she's like, okay, understood. Because, you know, this, this, is, this is life and death. This case, this, it, you got to protect your, your team. Okay, this is for Aaron and story. You got to survive, okay? I don't, Titans, humans, they, they're both trying to kill you. I, I like, Mikasa know, know what she had to do, okay? And Jean's like, uh, uh, put the gun down. Oh, uh, I said put the gun down. Like, bro, like, come on. You're about to die, bro. And I, 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 I'm pretty sure Mikasa came in time and sliced that girl up. Because that girl knocked the gun away from Jean. And he was like, oh. <laughs> and, and he and everyone's like, oh shit, Jean, Jean's in trouble. And Mikasa's like, fuck Jean. She comes in, you know, it cuts away. All I saw was Jean had in blood. So I'm pretty sure Mikasa came in time where somebody saved Jean. Okay, Jean could be dead. I don't know. It's a tag of time. Nobody's safe. Nobody's safe. But Jean, you fucked up, bro. If you die, like, you, you know what? Your priorities are on a whole different level. Like, what the fuck were you doing when you thinking, okay? They're trying to kill you. I don't care if they're humans, titans, aliens, I don't care. Protect the team, you know the mission, okay? And you gotta fucking do the damn thing. Come on. Gene, don't do it, man. Don't do it, you know. But towards the end of the chapter, we get Aaron and his story, and, you know, his story's father's there. Rod Reese, he's like, he's, he's there. And he's like, and Aaron's like, oh, that's the dude we heard from, the guy who's been stopping our tracks, being an asshole, being a dick to us, trying to, like, you know, just just get rid of us. He takes off his stories like a uh, little rag over her mouth, and he hugs her and said, "I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. His story is my fault. I apologize." And everyone's like, "What? What the? What? I thought you were. I thought you were an evil man. I thought you didn't like what? Who? And and the chapter ends up with that, with his story look, looking like what? Like." Like, like, what the fuck face? Like, what is going on? She's like, mind fuck right now. But, yeah, I don't know where her story or Aaron are at, but, they, you know, they have some secret location, I guess. But, yeah, Aunt Levi and his team are dealing with the human suppression squad. They're going crazy. But, Levi, this chapter was crazy, man. But, Gene, you fucked up, bro. Like, bro, that shit, I'm like, yo, Gene, why you be, don't go back to your old snow. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. Like, like Mikasa had to come in, beat that girl down, knock her out. I mean, Gene had her. All you got to do is, like, like fucking, you move, I will shoot you. Like, you might throw, throw some manliness in your voice, man. Like, ah! I'm serious, bitch. I will kill you in this carriage. I will kill you, okay? I mean, Armor, Armor almost, the same girl that almost got Gene fucked up, or if not, he did. She did fuck him up. That same girl almost killed Armor. But what? 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 What did Makasa do? For the fucking team, for the mission, she knew what she had to do. Protect Armin. She knocked that girl out. Okay, knock her out. Use her. You can get some information. You know what I'm saying? You know, interrogate her. You can. I mean, that's a smart thing. She could have killed her, but learn intel from the other fucking side. They could interrogate her, knock her out, and take her to back to the base. But Gene, being a fuckboy, uh, <laughs> I mean, before that, I knew, like, why are we doing this? Is Levi wrong? Is he right? Or on the right side? I knew it. I fucking knew when he was saying those words. I'm like, yo, Gene, when time when time comes, I hope you fucking, like, do the damn thing. You understand life and death. These people are trying to kill you. And when the gun's in your face, will you pull the trigger? But he didn't. Fuck. Big people, that's Attack on Time, aka Shigeki no Kyojin, for chapter 58. Phone Levi Madness. Chapter is crazy. Okay, Levi putting in work. Also, uh, his story is father. What's the deal with that? Talk to me, people. I get, get back to me. I'll see you guys later, man. Better go watch that E3, dog. <laughs>